Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions week 16 nearly at the halfway mark now in the Premier League season. Obviously before we get started this video is sponsored by Terra Bear Printing. Use the word sport as it's spelled on your screen and get 10% off your purchase price and, make, and you know put in the discount code bit. Um, but anyway guys, I'm going to get straight into this video, so guys, you know what to do, give us a little big thumbs up, that you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Crystal Palace versus Leicester City. I know Crystal Palace lost, but I can't remember who they lost to. I know they lost 3-0, I know that much, because they've conceded 10 goals in two Premier League matches, and... You know, it weren't really that sort of good game, if I remember rightly. Leicester City, on the other hand, I think they drew. And, uh, you know, they're doing their thing and doing that ever so well as well. Going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a Leicester win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Leicester win. My next one is Chelsea versus Aston Villa. I know Chelsea lost to Arsenal, and I think it's 3-1. Um, a much needed three points there for Arsenal, but I'll talk more about that when I get down to their fixture, which is literally just coming up not too long. Um, Aston Villa also won. I can't quite remember what they won by, but I knew they won because they're fifth in the table and, you know, playing really good football. I think it might have been one of the bottom clubs, but I can't quite remember which one. Going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a filler win. I think filler will just win this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Manchester City. Everton, um, I can't I think they won. Um, uh, Man City, I think, definitely did win. But... You know, if I can't remember, I can't remember. Um, but going forward to this game, two good teams in the Premier League season going head to head. So I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton and Ove Albion versus Arsenal. Brighton and Ove Albion drawing 2 2 with West Ham after taking the lead twice in a game. Um, if you know, you know. I'm disappointed that Brian did only walk out of a point in that game. If you offer me a point against West Ham before kick-off, I would have took your hand off. But after the 90 minutes, I'm really disappointed on how that game planned out. Um, Arsenal beating Chelsea, as I've already stated. And this is a big game for the relegation fight. Um, I think Arsenal are on 14 and Brighton on 12, something like that. You know, it really is a bit of a touch-and-go sort of game. Um, going forward to this game, I think Ars Arsenal will just edge it. And I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Sheffield United. A relegation dogfight for both these clubs. I think both teams are in the relegation zone. Uh, Sheffield United have only still got two points. Burnley, they lost today. I can't remember who to. Who did they lose to? Anyway, I can't remember. Um, I ain't going to take too much of your time trying to think about it. I do sort of remember, though, that you know Burnley could have had a goal. It was ruled out um, due to a foul on the keeper. And, you know, Ashley Barnes put in the back of the net. And all the stuff was going on where Burnley should have had a penalty or... You know, all, all of that, but the uh, opposition team got a free kick um, and it finished 1-0 defeat to Burnley. Uh, Sheffield United, I think, lost to Everton. I think that's who Everton played. Um, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting game going forward. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 Burnley win. My next one is Southampton versus West Ham United. West Ham United drawing 2-2 two -two at Brighton, as I've already stated. Uh, you know, if you're a West Ham fan, please feel free to put your comments down below how you felt about that point, especially after going behind twice. Um, Southampton, on the other hand, I think they drew 0-0. I can't remember oh, to Fulham. Just remembered. Two goals ruled out for offside. 
rightly so um but this game is a big game for the top of the table not quite top of the table but you mean you know what i mean the top half um i'm gonna go for a southampton win and i'm gonna go for a two nil southampton win my next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Leeds United. Uh, West Bromwich Albion drawn 1-1 one, one with Liverpool. How do I know that? Because it ain't too long happened. This is actually being uploaded on the Dutch Britain film. So literally the Wolves Tottenham game has just finished. Um, Leagues, I think they, I can't quite remember where I got on. I think Leagues might have won. Leagues are, you know, ever playing ever so good football. And now and again. I'm going to go for a league's win, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 league's win. My next one is Manchester United versus Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton joins Tottenham, as I just said. Uh, Man United, I think they won this week. I can't remember who I think. That might have been the Leicester game. I'm not too sure. Um, but, you know, Man United, Wolverhampton... Both teams fighting for similar situations. Well, I know Wolverhampton was at the start of the season anyway, but not quite sure now. Um, going forward to the game, Man United are looking for three wins on the bounce, I believe. So I'm going to go for a Man United win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man United win. My next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Fulham. Tottenham Hotspurs. Uh, drawing to Wolverhampton, Fulham, I think, I can't, yeah, I, yeah it's got, I think it was Southampton uh, they drew to. Good point for Fulham, obviously get well soon, it's got, well, get well soon, the Scott Parker family, um, I think it's one of his family members are recovering from COVID-19, um, and obviously he had to self-isolate himself. So missing that Southampton game and getting a point with your actual manager not being there is an all good point for Fulham. Going forward to this game, I think I'm going to throw up a bit of a shock. Do I throw a bit of a shock? Do I throw a bit of a shock? Do I throw... Um, I am, but I'm not going to give three points to either team. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one because I believe Fulham can do it. Just the way they played against Liverpool. My next, my next one and my last one is Newcastle versus Liverpool. This fixture reminds me of Golden Movie. If you're not seen it, then you, you know you ain't really seen a football movie. That movie, especially the first two, is just brilliant in my mind. Um, going up to St James's Park, obviously no fans. I don't think are allowed to attend. I think the only two grounds that fans are allowed to attend is Everton and Liverpool. Um, but obviously Everton are at home, so they won't be able to have fans in back Liverpool, obviously up at St James's Park. Um, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.